Good evening, Mask and Jewels. I have the right. It's time for the predictions video. Yes, just a few hours ago, we had the June Force White Rust Rotation. All of these skins appeared, and basically, in this video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at all of them, try and figure out which of these skins potentially might be the best investment for this week, which of these skins might help us walk away with some sweet, delicious looking profit. So sit back, relax. I'm going to start yapping. Right, so out of all of these skins, what am I most confident in? I'm looking at the Neon Small Med storage. Right, so let's just get this point across. This is the third small box to be accepted now, and things are looking very, very good. We've got both of these storages here sitting ever so comfortably on the Steam market, ever so comfortably in the positive. But I've got to get this point across. It's good now. Will it be good forever? I don't think so. So with every new acceptance, things are only looking to be better and better and better. But at some point, it will stop, it will end, and that's where you have to be concerned. Right now, it's the June force wipe. It's literally the very beginning of June. But just a few months away, it's going to start becoming September, October, November. The autumn fall seasonal dip is creeping ever so closer. So you have to consider this. If you bought any of these, you have to consider selling them over the course of the next two months when loads of people are playing. Because, of course, once they disappear, the demand for skins will drop. Prices will decrease and you potentially will lose a lot of value, all right? So you might want to make those sales probably sooner rather than later. But at the moment, with the third one being accepted now, maybe you might want to wait a little bit longer. I'm guessing here, but I get the feeling we'll probably see between six to ten of these. So whilst we've got the likes of fuel, food, meds on the horizon, maybe we'll, maybe we'll have a small comps, maybe we'll have a cards. Loads of people have been asking for the likes of seeds, farming, diving equipment, you name it, Duck's very likely going to produce it, all right? What, why would he stop? 40,000 plus subscribers for both of these, and at the current rate this is selling, potentially that might go even higher. So please understand, if we continue to keep more and more of these uh, being you know, submitted to the workshop and accepted, oh yeah, of course, they will be all right. They'll probably sit at around $2, which of course is better than their $1.49 price. But please, please, please be aware. You don't want to you don't want to buy far too many of these where it becomes a problem trying to sell them. And also, you, you want to make sure you sell these during the summer, at least before August, I'd say. Okay? So it doesn't matter. If we could have like, a, a, it could just say Neon Storage next week and it would still be accepted potentially and it would still cause the other ones to go up in price. It doesn't matter. Like, so as long as we keep seeing more being produced and accepted, it's fine. And it really does look like that's going to happen over the course of this summer. But it will stop at some point. So if you've been warned, don't fully believe it's going to last forever. I don't think it's going to last more than 10. I'm, as I said, maybe between 6 to 10 we shall see. Currently we're up to 3. But yeah. Also, please be aware of this, just because the large boxes worked out very nicely and perfectly fine doesn't necessarily mean these are instantly going to be the same. These took three years to get to this point. During the first, like, dip that all of these went through, yes, they suffered. So when a lot of people stopped playing the game for a while, these all did go down in the negative at some point. Not every single one of them, but a lot of them did. As time has gone on, they've graciously risen up in price, and they rarely ever go down in price too badly. All right, they do still do they 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 still do go down, but not as bad as they used to. All right, there's only so many of them to go around. There's only so many of them listed on the Steam market. These right here, they are new. They are in abundance. There's a lot of them in circulation, and you will be seeing a lot of these during the period between September, October, November. You will see a lot of these being listed on the Steam market during the autumn fall seasonal dip. The prices are very likely going below the Rustor price and potentially even lower. Maybe to around a dollar, we shall see, but you've been warned, all right? So if you want to invest into them, that's fine. Don't buy too many and be warned you should sell them during the summertime, during June and July. Cool. So on the horizon, are we likely going to see another one being accepted? Wouldn't doubt it. Wouldn't be surprised. Just to be safe, always keep an eye on the likes of the... Uh, oh, well, I uh, meant to go over to here. Yep, the workshop. Always keep an eye on the workshop over the course of the weekend. Keep an eye out, see what Duck produces. But I'll be honest with you, wouldn't be surprised if it's going to continue. As I said, he's printing a lot of money. Face punches are printing a lot of money. Why stop? Well, eventually it will stop. So be prepared, be warned, and I've told you. Cool. Right. So that feels perfectly fine. What else? Out of all of these skins, is anything just as good? Unfortunately, you're never going to get anything as good as that. However, I'm still somewhat confident in the likes of the Tempered Sheep Middle Double Door. So first of all, let's just get this established. That's selling for $3. I don't expect too many people to buy tons of them. However, we have had quite a lot. Maybe not as much as that, but it's still quite a lot for that, right? And of course, don't forget, we've had a lot of Sheep Middle Double Doors being accepted this year. That is a concern. But with the existence of this... 
it's not necessarily in trouble because these exist rather that appearing has kind of caused problems for these but the problem is is we have this right here yes if you aren't fully well aware we are going to have the bellum twitch event taking place between the 10th of june to the 17th and one of the skins that's going to drop is a sheet metal double door now you're probably sitting there and saying okay uh, is this a bad thing not really there's a fairly decent chance we will probably not see so many people want to buy the tempered sheet metal double door because this is being given away for free, not three dollars, for free, and that has transparency. Do you see these windows here? Four windows, you can see through them. Tempered sheet metal double door doesn't have transparency. It glows, but it doesn't have transparency. So consider that. Do you reckon it might slow down a fair bit? Maybe. But we were in this position two weeks ago where we looked at the likes of the garage door, the ramen garage door over here, and basically we thought... Well, if we got that anime Twitch skin, if you can remember that, just go over to here. Do you remember the uh, garage door that's going away as a Twitch drop? You, that one, MP LOL garage door. I thought maybe that might cause this to slow down and not sell so much. That still went up to about 28,000 subscribers. It didn't matter, all right? So just because I've said, oh, maybe, 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 doesn't necessarily mean it's definitely going to be that way, okay? So let's see how it works out, but we can compare to other skins. Tempered Collection is one of the biggest collections in Rust, and we have had other deplorables in the past. You might remember the Sheep Metal Door, you might remember the Garage Door, well that's currently selling for $6, that's currently selling for $12, and of course we also have the Storages. Now the Storages did sell an absurd amount. This did 36,000 subscribers, this did 31,000 subscribers. These appeared during the likes of post-Christmas, so a lot more people are playing then compared to when the likes of the Sheep Metal Door and the Garage Door came out. So that's a big, big difference, and right now, Quite a lot of people are playing the game. We had a peak of 175,000 people playing today. So maybe that does sell a lot. But the point I'm trying to get across is, so as long as it doesn't go absolutely ridiculous, it will still most likely end up in the positive at some point. Tempered Collection seems to be fairly beloved. The deplorables do work out quite nicely in the end. They all glow. They all look nice. I don't think it's going to be too bad. I look at this and sit here and say, at some point during this year, during the likes of the autumn full seasonal dip, will that still go below its roster price? wouldn't be surprised but some point next year will that just comfortably rise back up into the positive and be look perfectly fine wouldn't doubt it either so best thing you can do wait until wednesday that skin right there is abnormal all of these skins are abnormal except the mp5 all right so with the likes of that tempered sheet with a double door right there let's see what happens when we see you know loads of people realizing that's being given away for free it's a generic drop you don't have to watch any stream other than someone just streaming rust and i got this wrong earlier you don't have to watch two hours, you have to watch four hours. <laughs> is it really hard to watch four hours of someone streaming Rust? I don't think so. You can watch me if you really want to. Look in the description of this video, you'll see the links to my Twitch. So anyway, looking at that, it might have an impact, it might not, we shall see. But things are still looking good for that regardless. As I said, the problem more is kind of for these skins here. Maybe I'll do another video talking about Double Doors again, but... We've had nine so far this year. Wouldn't be surprised if we potentially see another one. But as I said, I wouldn't be surprised if this still does dip below its rust or price at some point, but I wouldn't be surprised if it just comfortably rises up in the future. All those other deplorables we just saw a minute ago from the Tempered Collection, they're doing fine, and I fully expect the same thing to happen to that. But I'm not going to rush into buying that just yet. I'm going to wait. Wait till Wednesday, see how many sales have happened, make an assessment, figure out how much I want to offer for it, do my abnormal barters, then proceed to, of course, figure out if I want to jump in and buy in into these after looking at the abnormal bard support afterwards now if you don't fully understand what i'm saying in regards to abnormal skins just hop over to the likes of my youtube please consider watching my most recent ruskin abnormal barders video all right this will help you out and understand how this all works what an abnormal skin is it will basically go through the process just look in the description you can skip ahead to certain parts and then you can see when we do the barders and when we make the assessment afterwards does it have enough barder support do we actually want to jump in and buy into these and with last night only the neon storage looked to be healthy to jump into cool understood right so that looks fine but i'm not rushing i'm waiting until wednesday night understood right let's move on so out of all of these other skins what's also looking to be fairly interesting i will consider chameleon tier 2 right so first things first this is the final core piece to be accepted for this collection please be aware when i refer to core pieces i'm talking about tier 2 tier 3 and of course hoodie and pants so we've got basically a full set now. That's nice. We don't have the boots yet. That still potentially could appear on the horizon. But other than that, there isn't really anything else that could really give the tier 2 a boost. This appearing today gave the hoodie and pants a boost, the gloves a boost, and the tier 3 a boost. But what's next? I mean, as I said, maybe the boots in the future. I don't think it'll be that much of an impact. 
But yeah, boots were submitted with the road sign gloves and they weren't accepted with them for some strange reason. However, don't be surprised if they're potentially accepted in a future complete the sets, which will probably happen between August and September. Like, please do not be surprised. Uh, there's always like a bunch of boots that are randomly accepted during that. And well, yeah, don't be surprised that happens. So anyway, uh, we could probably have a jacket or something. We'll see if that potentially happens. But regardless, we have this in the rustle right now, and we have to consider what might happen next. And my answer to you is, we need to keep an eye out and see how much these sell in comparison to the hoodie and pants and the tier 3. Have you noticed today that the hoodie and pants and the gloves rose up ever so nicely, and yet the tier 3 is still kind of struggling? What's the difference? Well, these did about 13,000 subscribers, you know, bare minimum sales, whereas these... Well, they only did about just over 9,000, and this did just over 8,000. There's a lot less of these in comparison to these. Therefore, all the better for these to rise up in price and go higher, whereas there's a lot more of these in circulation. Therefore, more people can list more. Therefore, it's going to keep the price down a bit longer, isn't it? So if this matches up to likes of this, don't be surprised that a tier 3 ends up suffering in the long term. However, if this does match up to likes of this, overall, it should just be all right, okay? So we've got to keep an eye out and see how this turns out. Kilt is expected to be the most valuable. Please do not forget, this is the only leg armor that we have. And normally, well, it just by default ends up becoming the most expensive. If it ends up not selling that much, all the better for that to rise up in price as well. So as long as the collection remains fairly in demand, which at the moment seems to be doing a fairly decent job of that, I feel like it's going to be perfectly fine. But again, I'm not rushing into anything. All three of these skins, they are abnormal. We can wait until Wednesday. We can assess them, figure out what prices we might want to offer for all of them. But as of now, it seems to be doing perfectly fine. And I will consider making a move for them. But I want to do my abnormal barders first, all right? Cool. So whilst that's looking nice, we shall see what happens next. Maybe we'll start seeing, you know, chameleon deplorables. But please be aware of this. You might have noticed Milho Frito, the man who made these skins, also made the double door there. So he might hop back onto Tempered Collection, or he might just commit to Chameleon. We shall see, we shall see. So in regards to that, I want to wait until Wednesday, then I'll consider making a move. So it looks okay, but please be aware, if that collection doesn't, you know, have demand, if people don't actively want to use Chameleon Collection, don't be surprised if it ends up losing value. So now you understand that if there's nothing to really come out after it to give it a big boost, maybe that might be a worry. And I should point this out, Chameleon Collection, more more specifically the Tier 3 and the Hoodie and Pants, they did start to go down in price. These did, both of these did end up in the negative. These were just about retaining value. With these appearing today, it has given it the boost that we wanted to see. But what happens now? Does it go back down a bit again, or does it stay comfortably in the positive for the foreseeable future? You've got to be prepared, all right? So consider it, wait, see how things turn out then make a move on the likes of Wednesday night slash Thursday morning. So, yeah, cool. So we've basically covered pretty much all the skins that I was somewhat confident in. Now, all the remaining ones, it's going to be a bit mm, not 100% sure. So I still think we could do a smart barter with them. It's just I don't feel super confident or reasonably confident. We'll go with that. All right, so let's jump in. Let's talk about the Junkanaut Sheet Minador. So the main problem with this is it's selling for $3. And please be aware of this. This is not the only sheet in the door with transparency and glow in the dark. Yes, there's a little window here. Please consider watching my Rustle Rotation video where I actually look at this in game. I look at all the skins in game this week on my Rustle Rotation. That window is not exactly a ton of space to be able to notice a lot, if that makes sense to you. So, okay, well, it's well, still something, isn't it? Well, I mean, it's selling at three dollars and you could just buy a cheaper one what do you mean well we have the likes of the bombshell sheet metal double door uh, sheet metal door and the brutalist one sorry about that i'm so double double door brained <laughs> basically i just want to bring up to you that late last year we had the likes of the bombshell sheet metal door and the brutalist sheet metal door both of these also have transparency as well so if i could just quickly get their steam market pages the point i'm trying to get across is this right now is currently selling for uh three dollars right but it's already got the likes of all these builders. It looks a whole lot more reliable. And being brutally honest, this has a lot more view. Like you can see so much more through that window of transparency compared to the Junkanauts. So maybe Junkanaut might end up suffering because it just can't really compete with the likes of this. And of course, with the likes of Bruceless. Bruceless sheet metal door sold for like $4, didn't it? Well, comfortably sitting there right now at $4.50. Okay, that's cool. Plenty of barders keeping it, you know, keeping up the support. Okay, that's cool. And if I showed you the workshop page for this as well, well, lo and behold, you might notice that that has even more transparency. You have so much that you can see through right there and even down here as well. So unfortunately, Junkanaut, Junkanaut gets outclassed. 
and that might very likely become a bit of a worry for it and it very likely will suffer i shouldn't have removed those listings sorry go back over to here there's a problem with the bombshell and the brutalist skins that uh yeah brutalist skin that happened earlier this year when we went for a bad time you know a dip what happened basically both of them went and halved in price i'm not joking there it is when it first came out <laughs> halved in price and went lower and then over to here with the likes of the brutalist sheep in the door remember what i said sold for about four dollars well this went below for uh two dollars there you go so it came out did all right for a while then just went down during the likes of march both of them got really cheap and then of course things improved and they went back up again so they're volatile all right be warned be prepared the junkernaut very likely will behave the exact same way and that means maybe just better off doing a buy order if you're looking at that with the pure intent to make some profit you know flip it for a decent profit at some point in the future maybe just wait until the likes of the autumn fall seasonal dip maybe just wait until october time look at it then grab a bunch wait until january sell them then make some decent profit that very likely might be the smart way to go about it so this is why I'm looking at this and thinking, okay, high price, bit of a problem, might not sell that much because of that, but it also will struggle to retain that price. You're much better off just sticking with a buy order. And of course, just take a look at all the sheet metal doors that have come out so far this year, and you'll see a very notable trend. What's that? Do you see any of them in the positive? No? Well, there you go. Even Shadowborn has gone down pretty badly. Ooh. So, yeah, Junkernaut, looking at that, I understand it's looking pretty nice. Interesting style. Maybe we'll see some more deplorables in the future, because of course if that got accepted and these other weapons aren't getting accepted, maybe that might be the play. Fuff, it's up to you, it's in your hands. Double door, garage door, wooden door, a furnace, you name it. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. If it does turn into a deplorable collection, all the better for that. But how much is it going to sell? Don't fully know. Let's wait till Wednesday. That skin's abnormal. We'll do the abnormal builders first, look at the support, then make a consideration on Wednesday night. If that sounds good, let's move on. Right, next up, I want to talk about the likes of... I want to talk about the likes of the MP5. Mm, no, actually, I think I'm going, to go, I'm going to jump onto the Watcher of Doom large box. I feel like that's a little bit more interesting, purely based on the fact that we got an instant continuation literally the very next week after having the garage door. All right, okay, maybe Face Punch likes it. Falco, Alloy, you're doing a pretty good job there. They're the, they're the people behind these skins. And uh, yeah, I've looked at this very nicely. I looked at in-game in my Rustor rotation video. Feel free to go ahead and give that a good look. The Eye of Sauron is staring at you. So basically, it glows in the dark. It's very noticeable. It's looking pretty good. And we very likely will be seeing even more of these potentially being accepted on the horizon. That was an early pick. This was literally submitted just this past weekend. So they literally just submitted it instantly accepted okay that's good so potentially this could build up into becoming a much bigger collection a deplorable collection that is so the only collection that's been pretty good so far this year and getting a lot more deplorable skins accepted would be shadowborn but even now that's starting to suffer a fair bit the sheet of the door for that kind of went down a bit but overall it's still mostly in the positive so at the very least that's looking okay but that had five skins accepted so far we're only up to three I will sit here and tell you, so far this year, I've seen so, so, so many deplorable collections stop at two and three acceptances. And this is up to number three. Will we see more skins being produced? Wouldn't doubt it. Falco Alloy, they very likely will be con committing to it. Not sure what to, what's going to happen next. Maybe a furnace, a rug, double door, wooden door, armored door. Don't know. But so as long as we keep seeing more, all the better for it, all right? It will develop and it will work out nicely. However, as I said... How many other deplorable collections so far this year that have ended up stuck around at this point? Quite a lot, I'm afraid. I'm thinking at least like 10 plus. I, as you know, every single week I'm constantly looking at all the new skins that get, you know, submitted to the workshop. And I will sit here and comfortably tell you, I have seen so, 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 so many deplorable collections just randomly stop. And the skin creators lose motivation and they end up working on something else. I can't tell you how many times that's happened this year. So basically, in that type of situation that we're in, it looks optimistic at one point and it also looks very pessimistic at the other point. At the very least, I ain't going to rush into uh, buying that. I can wait, see what happens over the course of this weekend. Keep an eye on the workshop, see if Falco and Eloy put out another Watcher of Doom deplorable skin. And we'll see then. You know, we'll wait till Wednesday. Abnormal Bards first. Look at it, make the consideration, and we'll see how it turns out. I mean, is there anything else I need to really say? But as I said, I don't feel super confident. 
it's up to face punch face punch decides that's not a lovely thing to say unfortunately especially he's been watching me over the past few months <laughs> but anyway it could work out well but we're probably better off just stick, sticking with doing a boulder plus take a look at all the large wood box skins that have come out so far this year i believe it is a fair bit 50 50 as you can see whilst we've had the likes of that literally just come out this week uh, past week only that and only that are doing okay all of these other ones not so much only down by two percent though and if you look at all the ones that came out last year it is 50 50 some in the positive some pretty down in the negative and also please don't forget we also have this currently being given away as a twitch drop another generic drop so maybe just maybe the watcher of doom doesn't sell that much and then we end up getting another deplorable skin being submitted and maybe it does work out quite all right but we gotta wait and see so will it break the free acceptance curse or will it just be stuck at that point? We shall see. So I best move on. Ice, ice eye tools. Right, both of these do look really cool. Both of these do really stand out very nicely, but there's a problem. Tool skins do not work out very well by default. It's just a weird thing that happens with the likes of these skins. People just don't like holding onto them, wanting them, desiring them. I don't know, it's weird. Anyway, let's just get this point across. Take a look at all the hatchet skins that came out over the past three years. That is a lot of them in the negative. Yes, indeed. So many of them end up at around a dollar. Take a look at all the pickaxes. And what do we see? Pretty much the exact same thing. Yep, 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 yep. Now, some of them might be kind of nice in the positive. I will sit here and tell you, so, so, so many hatchet and pickaxe skins get manipulated. So don't trust everything just based on what you see. So... I like the design, it looks really cool. Technically speaking, it's brewing up into a collection. I wonder what potentially could come out next with the likes of this. I mentioned it earlier, I'd love to see a jackhammer. I'd love to see some weapon skins with this ice type design. It looks awesome. So I wonder if it does de develop into something even further. But as of now, it's all just tools. And weapon, weapon only slash tool only collections don't tend to work out very well. They tend to go down in price. But it's nice, it's blue, it stands out much better compared to all the other, the other tool skins that we've seen in recent past. Maybe it does work out quite alright. The only thing I can really sit here and say is it's abnormal and I'll wait until Wednesday. I know, I know, but it's the safest way to go about it. If you rush into things, you potentially could very badly suffer, alright? So, I lean more to... I probably will just stick with a Duna Barda. I will not be surprised in the slightest if this goes down pretty badly. We did look at the Salvage Sword skin. We thought that looked cool. We thought that stood out very nicely compared to all the other Salvage Sword skins. It still went down pretty badly. Whilst it did it slightly better compared to the other ones, it was still down pretty bad. So maybe the exact same thing happens to these two. We'll have to wait and see what potentially is produced next. We can wait and see what's potentially produced on the workshop and see if it gets an instant continuation submission and we'll consider, oh, okay, will that be accepted anytime soon? So yeah, we'll leave that. And now I can talk about the MK Ultra MP5. Now I have to sit here and say this. I don't necessarily look at this and think, oh, nah, nah, no, nah, nothing's going to happen. No, it actually does look like something interesting could be happening. So last week I had some pretty positive words to say about the Sweet Dreams uh, uh, custom SMG based on the fact that these skins look to be developing into a very nice colourful collection. Last year we had the likes of Redemption and Chameleon Collection. They basically consisted of weapon skins, but they stood out very nicely compared to everything else. Nice, bright, shiny. They looked nice, people wanted them, and during the summer, pretty much those weapon only collections did end up in the positive. Eventually, Auto Full Seasonal Dip happened and it kind of ruined things for it. But basically, with the likes of MK Ultra and, of course, with the likes of the Sweet Dreams collection skins, they are very, very, very colourful. They are very, very standout. And I'm starting to think maybe it might work out ever so nicely if we end up building up a proper collection with all of these skins. What do you reckon? Now, when I look at MK Ultra, LSD. When I look at Sweet Dreams, Salvia. They are really trippy. They are really out of this world, and nothing really compares to it. So if you're thinking, oh yeah, no, I can see that now, would you like to see more of these skins? Because I can sit here and tell you, fairly recently, Hesiam did in fact put out an LR300. Could that potentially be accepted anytime soon? Could that potentially be accepted when another Sweet Dream skins gets, uh, skin gets accepted? We shall see. Both Hesiam and um, unfortunately, I can't remember who made the other skin. <laughs> Let's quickly remind myself. Oh, yeah, it was Lysane. Yeah, maybe both of these collections do build up quite nicely side by side, much like Chameleon and Redemption last year, and they work out ever so nicely. But both of them only have two skins accepted so far. This is a lovely thing to think in my head and whatnot, but both of them are supplying even more weapon skins. Both of them do stand out ever so nicely compared to all the other collections at the moment. So maybe it does work out quite right. But again, happy thoughts. Lovely things that can be said 
what's the reality like? Well, unfortunately, MP5s, they're not exactly super, in, you know, strong investments. What do you mean? Look at all the skins here. How many of them are in the positive? Mm. And then you've also got to take into consideration Ariat's MP5 is a Twitch drop that will be given away currently during the rest of this uh, week. Well, as of Monday, I should point out. And that looks very nice, shiny and cool. It's being given away for free. All right, but that very likely could potentially positively affect this. It might not sell that much, but we did have this same conversation with the likes of the Sweet Dreams AK-47. When that came out, we had that anime-themed Mizkif AK-47 given away as a Twitch drop. That still did 15,000 sales, or rather, subscribers. So, yeah, we'll have to wait and see. Do you reckon both MK Ultra and Sweet Dreams will flourish into full proper weapon collections? I can't tell you, but at the very least, I want to point this out. Please consider watching my Rustle Rotation video. Go to the MK Ultra, you know, scroll down, look in the description. I look at this at night time. It is super bright. You can easily see your gun when you're looking at it during night time. It doesn't glow. The diffusion's just so bright that it's just super easy to see where you're aiming. I'm not joking. Consider watching that video, all right? So, with that... That's everything. Is there anything else Hedge needs to talk about? Well, basically, I should talk about things in general. So today, we peaked up to 175,000 people playing at the same time. That's lovely. But comparing that to last year, we beat last year. June 4 swipe for 2023 had up to almost 162,000 people playing. We've easily passed that. And I'm looking forward to finding out how things could be next month for July. Anyway, so with that... Lots of people are clearly playing at the moment, and of course, Ruskin prices are going up ever so nicely. Go look up Forest Raider skins. Go look at Whiteout skins. They are reaching all-time high prices. Things are looking very, very good at the moment. But as I said earlier, you have to, have to, have to be prepared for likes of the upcoming Autumn Fall Seasonal Dip. We're going through good times at the moment, but unfortunately, bad times do tend to follow. It's unfortunate, but it is what it is. Last year, we dropped, like a third of the player count look at the average player count during july and look at that two months later where did a third of the people go well they went back to school <laughs> right now it's the summer vacation in north america in july it will happen in europe as well loads of kids will be playing the game and of course what they're going to do they're going to play rust of course they are you know they are come on now <laughs> but basically sell during these two months june july get those profits because unfortunately once it's gone Price is going to go down real low. But if you already sold a bunch and have a lot of money, jump in when these skins are super cheap. Grab as much as you can. Wait until January time when they all return again. Prices will improve again. You can make some nice quick flip profits. So yeah, consider looking at your inventory. Look around. Look at the prices. Remember how much you bought them for. Consider if you want to sell them now or wait a little bit longer. At the very least, I'll wait until during this weekend when, you know, everyone's got time off and they're going to be playing rust a lot more 175,000 is very high but i think we'll be even higher this weekend so be prepared for that all right and yeah if the prices look pretty good at the moment maybe it's fine to just accept the profit now because it's better to get it now and have nothing when we hit around september october november time typically most of the time it's around october where a lot of these skins end up at their lowest for the year all right and that's of course the best time to jump in and buy as much as you can so yeah, that's basically everything. I tried my best to be as fast as possible. And guys, please keep an eye on the commits. We didn't get that much actual content added today. We didn't see Redtown Redux. We didn't see the likes of the actual SKS weapon. We didn't see the likes of, uh, what else was there? The bikes, the pedal bikes. What happened there? I don't know. Maybe they weren't ready, all right? I'd rather they hold it back, cooking it more, and make sure it's actually ready. And maybe they just want to wait until July, because they know that's where they're likely going to have a lot of people playing then. Okay, that's cool. But keep an eye on the commits at the very least for all the new content that very likely will be rolling out for July. I've just noticed here, over the past week, Skidoo. What's a Skidoo? It's a jet ski. Yeah, they're going to add jet skis to Rust, it looks like, and they're working on that a lot at the moment, so that looks like it's something that's definitely happening. Bikes, jet skis, mate, I'm telling you, it's looking pretty good, all right? So let's stay optimistic, let's look forward to the likes of July, and, well, consider start consider starting to sell your skins. I tried my best to be fast with this, and it went on for 29 minutes, but at the very least, it's twice as fast compared to the Rust Rotation video. <laughs> but please consider watching the Rust Rotation video. I look at all, the, all these skins in-game, I give them a good look, look at it at night time, look at it during the day, look at the shine, and of course I look at all the aim sights, the weapons and whatnot. Well, actually, there's only one. But I also look at the Spanish Bellum drops as well. Please do not forget, Spanish Bellum drops are dropping over the course of this week, starting from Monday. It is the 10th of June to the 17th of June, and there's a lot of interesting skins there. And if you want to get a much better look at all of them, please consider watching my Rust Rotation video. I look at them. That furnace right there is beautiful. 
And all of these other skins, they look just as good as well. I really like the AK as well. I think that looks very, very nice. And the aim sight, the aim sight on that, very bright at night time as well. So how would you know? Consider watching the video. <laughs> I'm sorry to say go look at another one, but I'm not going to be spending another hour looking at all the skins all over again. And I've been yapping for far too long anyway. So that's Hedge. You knew what to expect. So with that, thank you very much for watching me. I greatly appreciate it. Have a lovely weekend. Enjoy, enjoy the summer. Enjoy having fun with all the quality of life changes that were implemented today at the very least. We might not have had new content, but a lot of things were improved uh, refined and I'm sure you're going to appreciate it there's a lot to look forward to with July so let's see what happens next catch you later see you and goodbye